That mark above appeared out of nowhere. I'm gonna try going for him. Oh, he's coming right to me. I'm gonna get, he's going to smoke me, I think. He's right on me. Oh, I took a bit out of his mouth. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, he's coming back. Got him. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another one. Today, going ice fishing again. The last video you guys saw of me was catching some giant crappies. I was freaking out. Got a lot of hate for freaking out, but I don't really care because I like freaking out. Well, it's, I don't like freaking out, it's just what happens. It's been on my mind catching those big crappies, so I'm going back to the exact same spot, and I'm going to try to catch some big crappies today. That's that's the goal in mind today. Um, it's supposed to be super cold this week. This Wednesday, it's Monday right now, this Wednesday is supposed to be a high of negative 20 degrees. Negative 20 degrees, homies. Whoa! Anyways, that's pretty freaking cold and today's one of the warmer days so I decided to get out and get some content for you guys. But going out, gonna catch some big crappies today and I am going to use a bait that I rarely, and I mean rarely ever use to catch crappies. And today I'm, I kinda wanna try it out and see if it works. So today I'm gonna be trying new baits, I'm gonna be catching big crappies. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. You guys don't want to miss it. That was bad. Okie dokes. We have made it to the lake. Got my holes. Again, I'm fishing out of one and have this one over here so you guys can't complain. Found uh, some fish, but now I'm not marking anything. But I think they'll kind of slowly roll in. This guy right here, if this will focus, this is the bait of choice today. I, I don't normally fish crappies with this. This is a number three rip and wrap. And I don't know. I... I think I'm gonna catch some big ones with this today. I'm gonna try to weed out smaller ones in hopes to catch an absolute bomb with this guy right here. Um, I may not get as many fish to bite this, but the fish that do bite this are gonna be big. So again, like I said, gonna be fishing this right here and hopefully we'll catch some fish today. I'm gonna stay here all day, try to catch some fish and sit back and relax. All right, making my first drop. We're fishing in about 22 feet of water it looks like. And I'm marking fish really high in the water column right now. I'm talking like 15 or higher. So I'm going to try jigging a little bit higher. Oh, I got one coming up to me right now. As soon as I my first drop. Here we go. If I get this fish. Oh, my God. He's coming up hot. He's coming up hot. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. Stay pin. Stay pin. Stay pin. Doesn't feel too big, but. Oh, yeah. Just a decent crappie. All right. All right. First victim. All right, not a bad little crappie right here. This would be a pretty good eater if I was keeping fish, but again, it's awesome catching these fish on just this little rip and wrap right here, but the first victim of the day. Hell yeah. See you later. If I can catch a giant on this bait, yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably freak out. So for those of you that are wondering, I am fishing uh, one of the deeper basins on this lake today, I'm in the Detroit Lakes area, and I found this spot uh, last year. It was more of a late ice bite, but I tried it last time, and it was awesome right now. It's about midwinter. What I was going to tell you guys is it's been very, very, very cold lately. So when it gets super cold out like this, these fish like to push out into the deeper basins, and I found one of them that was generally pretty close to where I could walk out from. So I checked this one out ended up being pretty good so that's just a tip for you guys if you're fishing cold weather crappies i check them on the deeper basins and look for them whether you have a flasher or pan optics and just try to look for marks that are suspended uh those marks are more than likely the more active fish and the ones that are going to bite you but yeah just a little tip for you guys Ooh, this is a big mark big mark at 15 feet big mark oh he okay he looks interested he looks interested. Yep, I'm gonna get mucked. I'm gonna get mucked, boys. This is a big crappie. Got him. Got him. This has to be a big crappie. Or a decent crappie. Gotta keep you up with him. Come on, come on. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, look at that freaking bomb. Let's go. But today, boys, I did kind of bring 
a measuring box or uh, well a measuring box i brought a measuring tape kind of but it's a box let's i'm sure you guys know what this is this is a mystery tackle box um i'll we are going to work with these guys this year but i'm gonna save that for another video there is a little thing in here where you can measure fish so i grabbed it and brought that today i'm gonna see how big this freaking mama is let's get a good measurement on this just a little bit above 14 as you can see right there but oh my goodness goodness gracious what a bomb what's a bomb just one more look at this freaking bomb this 14 inch freaking bomb boys i don't think this is bigger than my pb that i caught but this is still a very good fish I'm gonna revive him then let him go there he goes that feels freaking great i set out on this mission to catch big crappies on a certain bait and it happened i, I came out here with my mindset I'm gonna try using this bait that I am not very comfortable with and try to catch a big fish. Stepped out of my comfort zone and caught a big fish. Um, I'm not done yet, definitely not done yet. Gonna drop back down and see if I can catch some more fish for y'all. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna get smoked. Please be a big crap. I'm gonna get absolutely smoked here, boys. Got him. Smoked it. Doesn't feel too big, honestly. Oh yeah, just a little crappie, just a little guy. The little guys want the big baits too. Thanks for playing, little guy. See ya. We go from 14 inches to freaking six inches real quick. Oh, this. Oh. Yep. Got him. Stuck him. What, what do we got? What we got? What we got? Ooh. Oh. oh, almost lost him. Holy cow, that sucks. I I keep doing that just a little guy oh so they are crappies but they're finicky so yeah i'd be a good eater if i was keeping fish let's get back down there time for a little nut break what do you guys all right i'm kind of curious what do you guys what's your guys's go-to snack on the ice drop a comment down below honey roasted peanuts that's one of my go-to's i want to know what you guys eat on the ice let me know well um yeah i lost my rip and wrap because i put the buddy heater too close to my line and it sizzled off so it's sitting at the bottom of the lake now so just gonna fish the rest of the time and i don't know try to catch some fish with some tungstens or whatever else whatever else i got all right so since i sizzled off my rep and wrap just switched over to this little frostbite jig i'm not really sure what this is called but it's yellow red orange all that good jazz and i put a little dragonfly on there as you can see but hopefully this does a trick hopefully i can catch a big fish with this that mark above appeared out of nowhere. I'm going to try going for him. Oh, he's coming right to me. I'm gonna get, he's going to smoke me, I think. He's right on me. Oh, I took a bit out of his mouth. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, he's coming back. Got him. Oh, my gosh. I missed him. He came back, and I stuck him a second time. He didn't even think twice to come back. He, he wanted it bad. Oh, yeah, another nice crappie. Gosh, dang, dude. Oh, another good crappie. As you guys saw in the pan optics there, missed him. He came back and hammered. Just another quality eater. We'll see you next time, guy. You're lucky I'm not eating fish today. You're lucky. There we go. Got him. Oh, my God. That guy was finicky as all get out. It was like a decent crappie. This is a crappie. Oh, yeah. Good looking crappie. Good looking crappie. Oh, yeah. Perfect size eater. If you're going to eat one. Just a good looking crappie right here. This is this is pretty girthy. Not very long, but definitely got the girth. See ya. Two good marks. Oh, come on. Big mark's going to crush me. Big mark is going to crush me. All right, let me see if I can turn this. Oh. Try turning on the pan optics the best I could. I got a giant mark on me. Oh, he had it in his mouth. Come on. Oh, got him. I must have had him hooked for a while. I don't even know. Oh, this yeah, this this is a big crappie. Boys, this is a big crappie, I think. Yo, yo, big crappie, big crappie, big crappie, chill. Big crappie. Oh, just not tanker yes goodness look at this guy 
Heck yes. Oh my god, I could tell right away that was going to be a good fish. Let me get this out. This is another, this is probably like a 13 right here. I'll get the, the old mystery tackle box out and, and measure him. I don't know if you guys can see that, but another 13 inch crappie. Another freaking beast of a fish, but I got a lot more marks down there. I'm going to say goodbye to this guy. See ya. I got, I got some big marks down there. Hold on, hold on guys. Come on. Oh, 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 this mark came out of nowhere. What the heck? I was dropping down and a mark just appeared out of nowhere right on my jig. Here, he's going to smack me. Got him. Decent crappie. Decent, decent, decent. Oh, yeah. Just another crappie. All right. They're, they're rolling through, though, so I got to hurry up. All right. Another quality quality eater. See ya. Got to get back down there. Get back down there. That's why you got to get these fish back into the water and get your bait back down in the water as fast as possible just so you can get these fish to stay in the area more interested stay interested i guess but i got two fish still here that look like they're decently interested got them Ooh, feels decent feels decent boys all right what we got? oh he's digging boy he is digging okay okay Ooh, another oh my god another giant dude this one has to be like around four. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a big one. This is a freaking giant. Let me measure the old, the old fish here on the old cardboard box. 13 and a half, but another freaking giant. So the big fish for me today has been 14, and then this is the 13 and a half, and then I caught another 13. But gosh dang, son. Look how healthy and stocky this fish is. This thing's a freaking bomb. But gonna let him go. I'm not, not keeping any fish. But, oh my god, just a freaking awesome fish to catch. Awesome fish to catch. And just like that, he's gone. Well, all right, I think I'm going to call it a day. My other camera died, so we're going to do the old classic GoPro outro. But I set out today on one mission, and that was to catch a big crappie on that rip and wrap, which I don't have right now because it's in the bottom of the lake. Caught a really good sized crappie on that bait. That was actually the biggest of the day. So the biggest fish that I caught today was 14 inches and it happened to come on the bait that I was trying to catch a big fish on. So, you know, that's that's awesome to see. Like I was saying before, I never used those baits and it was cool trying something that I never use. So I, I, I really suggest for you guys to step out of your comfort zone and try baits that you wouldn't normally use and just kind of like get a feel for them and just kind of, I don't know, just just get it all get it all figured out. You know what I'm saying? But I am going to call it a day. I'm going to pack it all up. I have a long walk back to my car. It's going to be freaking brutal. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys like the crappie videos? If not, I won't make them anymore. But if, if you do like them, I'm still going to do them because they're super fun. Okay, honestly, I'm still going to do crappie videos no matter what just because I love catching crappies. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.